Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building four motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and four Nissan Leafs. And this is episode 33. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much guys for your help. If you would like to join us, just check the Patreon link down below. You can get uh, stuff like t-shirts, uh, monster truck rides or technical support with your own build. Last time we disconnected everything between the auxiliary frame and the chassis. We are going to lift up the chassis including cab and we'll pull the chassis out on the the frame so the, the last thing we didn't do last time are these shocks I cannot heat them up because here is the rubber it would be horrible smog we wouldn't see anything anyway so I'm going to cut it with sozo the the shaft over here and but of course the wheel is in the way so we have to get rid of the wheel cut it off and then do the second side the same Now I want to get rid of the rubber ring which is here. I think it's clear of rubber and we can we can cut it off. There is still a rubber. It's catching the blade. It always looks like job for half an hour <coughs> and then you spend here half a day. What the f Yay! We got it! <laughs> That's... <laughs> I know, I know it looks uh, trivial, but... I'm so happy after every cr every step is done. It took forever because that f***ing rubber stopped the blade everywhere all the time. <clears throat> and it's still here, some rubber behind it. Look at that. It was holding the blade, but we are done. Finally. the second side So 
awesome. There is also a rubber. <sighs> wow, it's out. Wow! <laughs> so we are done, let's put the wheel back and do something else. Takže cut. No ne, jsem za hurá! Hurá! Cut! <laughs> Ow! Oh. Oh, na, na, na Wasp. <laughs> Somewhere here. <clears throat> you will see it in five minutes. So finally the auxiliary frame is completely free. We are just waiting. We are just waiting for the forklift guy because he is on vacation. Next week we will pick it up. Now we will uh, remove the steering box. <clears throat> Done. Hallelujah! <clears throat> now we'll remove the steering box. Why Tatra has to make everything so heavy? And now I, <coughs> I want to remove the steering column. It means I have to disconnect the steering wheel. Jak prdel na hrnec. See, it's it's free now. I just need to unscrew this big nut in the middle. Out. Okay, let's pull it. Ah! And it's free. I think so. <laughs> if not, then I will try again.
Oh. Let's go. It's late. Ah, it's all. We are going to push the chassis into the shop and it's, here is just a little ground clearance. Hallelujah, we made it. Everything is ready and because it's dark, we will see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, it's another day and we are finally working in the shop, but it's hot anyway. Uh, before we sell this cab from the first Tatra, we will need to take out few stuff and first of that will be the seat base. Pneumatic seat base, we will need it at least for the driver. completely hidden, it's hard to access. Seems like these are two pieces. I will take it off and then I will get into these airlines. And now the airlines for the seat. We will take off this base also, the second one. Two Slovak crowns, I don't know how old, if it's still valid. It's not valid, they don't have Slovak crowns anymore. <laughs> they, they have euros. Mm -hmm. First time camera woman is going to work here, I can't wait. <laughs> Camera woman is perfectly independent. I think I can uh, have, uh, I can go on vacation now, and when I come back, it will be all done. No. <laughs> <laughs> And the passenger side. This is a oil with water, I don't know why. <laughs> this will be very pleasant for camera woman. <laughs> <clears throat> it looks horrible, but it's not rusty. And now the last bracket. Mm. 
страна. Wow, everything takes so much time. It looks like a few seconds on the video, but it's so slow and the progress is so slow. Awesome, the seats are out. We are going to use this pneumatic base for the driver. I don't know exactly what seat we are going to put on it. If we can put Nissan Leaf seat on it, maybe we will do it. Now we will remove this bracket for the steering column. Yeah, like a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but uh, it might be good for the steering column holder when I when I will do the steering. So we'll keep it. Uh, I took everything what I needed from this cab, and now I'm going to put it on sale. The last thing in this shop before I get uh, next chassis over here is to cut this assemble into the pieces. I don't need the torsion bars, they are going to be sold, but I need this plate because it's also a spacer for the, for the chassis tube. So let's cut it here, sell that and keep that. Awesome. One side left. You need some very big press to press out these torsion bars from this seating. That's why I'm cutting that. Done! I keep that and I saw that. So that's all for today. Please consider to become our patron. We need your help to continue with this channel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode because we are going to lift up all of this and pull out the chassis for our use.